Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product everyday series. Today I am so excited to try out another primer. I love trying out primers and this here is from Tula Skin Care. It's the Brighten Up Smoothing Primer Gel. That description of this just sounds so nice. So this was part of my September 2022 BoxyCharm Premium Box, which if you haven't seen that unboxing yet, that video is up here on my YouTube channel, and I was very happy with my box this month. But this is cruelty-free. It's a clean product. It's free from all of those bad ingredients, parabens, sulfates, phthalates, mineral oil, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> and it has nourishing ingredients in it, probiotics, yuzu, willow herb, <laughs> And so I just love when my makeup products also have skin benefiting ingredients in them. And this retails for $34. And it's supposed to be brightening, smoothing, gripping. Ooh, and it says it's supposed to give a cooling feeling as you apply it, which that definitely has me intrigued. So I also love that it's in a tub. For some reason I love like jar tub packaging. I feel like that way there's no product wasted. So let's see how it looks. Oh, yes. So it smells a little bit citrusy actually. Not a very strong pungent smell so that's good but it looks like a solid balm. Oh my gosh no. It is like a gel and it literally feels cold to the touch. I am very intrigued by this texture. This is almost like an ASMR texture. I'm personally obsessed with ASMR, so let's see if I can show you a little zoomed in view of this texture. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Okay, well, I don't wanna pick up too much. It says to just use like a little bit and blend it onto the skin. And I'm only going to apply this to half of my face so that I can compare the difference. Oh, it's silicone free, but it has a very like balmy silicone feel to it. Like a very thick, like it's called a gel, right? But it's, it's not very jelly in terms of like what I'm used to for a gel. It's much more of like a thick balm. A little bit hard to blend out and look, it's pilling a lot so we'll see how it is under my foundation but if this is going to pill under my foundation I am not going to like that see like it just keeps balling up as I'm trying to blend it so that's not very good but trying to really work it in hopefully that's not making it worse but it's leaving behind a little bit of like a white cast when I'm not blending it in it actually is looking very smoothing on the skin. I have a large pores here, and I wouldn't say that it blurred or minimized the pores, but it does look just like there's a smooth layer on top of them. So hopefully that means that my foundation is going to go on very smooth and that it's helping to fill in fine lines and all of that. Yeah, that does give a really nice look to the skin just wearing it alone. It gives some slight radiance and just a more smooth, kind of hydrated, plumped effect. Like just the visible difference with it versus without it. It's still a very natural look with this on, but I actually do feel like it made an improvement in how my skin looks just if I were to wear this alone without foundation. It's not super tacky and grippy, but it has a little bit of stick to it, which should be good for gripping the foundation. And so speaking of foundation, let's go ahead and apply the foundation that I always use when I review primers, which is the LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation. And so first I'm just going to quickly apply the foundation to the side of my face without the primer so that we have no primer mixed in on this side and we can really compare the difference. I always use this foundation because 
it really shows how my skin is underneath. So it'll show texture, dryness, all of that. Oh, I forgot to notice any sort of cooling sensation as I was applying the primer. And that's because I actually didn't notice, even though it felt cool to the touch, as I was applying it to my face, I did not get any of that um, instant cooling burst of refreshing sensation. It really just felt like any other product I would apply to my skin, like any other balm. So that's, <laughs> that's interesting. But okay, now that foundation is applied to the side of my face without the primer, let's see how the foundation is on top of this primer. Ooh, yes, definitely some good gripping of that tackiness onto the foundation. I'm going to really have to <laughs> look closely for a difference with the primer versus without it because there's no obvious immediate difference. Like the finish on my skin, like texture wise, how matte or glowy it is. It looks exactly the same, I would say with and without the primer. But interesting what I'm noticing, and I do have, kind of have to look closely for this, is just like a little bit more plumpness in the skin. Maybe the slightest bit more hydrated sheen, but very slight. Unfortunately, it did not help to smooth out the pores at all. They look the same, just as textured with it versus without it, which I'm kind of surprised by because it did look like a smoothing layer, but thankfully no pilling. So it is sitting nicely under the foundation, but visibly really, <laughs> I'm not seeing a benefit to using this primer underneath my foundation. I mean, it helped to grip the foundation. So if you struggle with having foundation stay in place, sliding off your skin, having that grip is good, but I personally don't struggle with foundation sliding off or kind of fading as the day goes on. So as much as I want there to be an improvement in my skin with this primer, I can't lie, I don't see a difference. I almost feel like I would need to treat this as like a skincare product rather than a makeup product. Like it has those nourishing ingredients, brighten up the skin, but when it comes to my primers, I want it to, you know, smoothen my pores or tone down the redness or change the finish to my foundation and this is not doing any of those kind of foundation improving qualities so it's a nice product i like applying it i like how my skin looked with it on but as far as like a primer under makeup it's just not making enough of a difference in my opinion but hey if you've tried this out let me know what kind of difference you've seen when using this with your makeup but thank you so much for watching my video today be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.